should be praying lead me into the land of uprightness oh God I don't want any chicken or business to be in me I don't want any dishonest to be in me I don't want any lying to be in me I don't want any disobedience to be in me oh God lead me in the land of uprightness can you praise the Lord, everybody? Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we, we, we seem to allow our bodies to lead us into that carnal plane of selfishness. To the degree that sometimes, rather than loving your brother or your sister, praying for your brother or your sister what you seek to do is to destroy your brother or your sister you seem to delight and feel happy when somebody is going the wrong way no oh, beloved is the saint of God what we ought to be doing is praying for those who are going astray we ought to be helping them to find the way We must establish a divine relationship with God. Amen. If we're going to volunteer, if we're going to be willing to consecrate ourselves for service to God, we must develop and establish a divine relationship with God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell you, beloved, you can't make it as a child of God or as a reaper unless you are guided by God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. You're going to have to have a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, beloved. He will hear you when you call upon him. If you develop a divine relationship with God. The song we sing hand in hand we walk together Jesus and I praise God hallelujah for whomsoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven the same is my brother and a sister and a mother those were the comments of the Lord Jesus what he's saying is let's do the will of God. Let's practice the will of God. Amen. And the will of God is what will lead us into righteousness and peace. Amen. John 7 and 17 declares if any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. Amen. Hear me today, beloved. If we do the will of God, God will give us the doctrine. Oh, praise God. Amen. A scripture says, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will lead you into all truth. Yes, sir. You, the unsaved that you hear, and you, maybe you don't understand quite some of the things I'm saying here today. You don't worry about it. Your responsibility is to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. And when the Lord gives you his spirit, his spirit will lead you into truth. Yes, sir, yes, sir. 
Amen. Amen. Over in Ephesians 6 and 6, we read, Not to give service with eye service as men pleases, but as servants of Christ. Doing what? The will of God. From where? From the heart. Glory! Did you hear me, saints? You're not going to make it unless you give your whole heart to God. I believe Jesus keeps saying, if you've been listening to him, what Jesus has been saying to you, how much do you love me? Amen? How much do you love me? Simon, thou son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest. Amen. Is that the answer you gave? But Jesus is going to ask you again. Because somehow the Lord is not convinced that he has your full love. Amen. Lovest thou me more than these? Do you love me more than the things of the world? Do you love me more than your dress? Do you love me more than your false pride? Amen. You see, if you're going to give yourself to service for God, I don't want you to hear me, beloved. I don't believe God wants any more false prophets. There are enough false prophets out there. And we do not want to produce any false prophet from the house of God. We want true witnesses. Therefore, beloved, before you give yourself, before you get up and say, I am willing to go, before you say, here am I, send me, you're going to have to give the Lord the whole of your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can't reserve a little corner there. You remember Ananias and Sapphira? That, that, listen, they didn't have to get up and go and say they're giving everything. They could just say, well, listen, I bring a part of my possession. You don't have to come and say, Lord, I'm giving you my all. If you don't mean it. Because you're going to have to hold on to some little selfish thing to satisfy your own personal gratification when you come to God beloved you're going to have to give God everything everything oh, glory. I wish if I had the ability to paint you the picture of giving everything praise God Jesus our Lord and Savior he gave everything for us when he descended from heaven. Can't you see him? The man who gave everything as he stood in Pilate's judgment hall. They box him. They spat upon him. They beat him. They jeered him. They mocked him. He was without sin. But he stayed there and he answered them not a word. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Some of us would flex our muscles. Some of us would say, you know, I can bring the whole church. And I have brothers and sisters that's stronger than you and can beat you up. Don't you know that I can fight better than you? No, sir. Jesus answered not a word. He was without sin and he stood there, the Lamb of God, who he was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. 
and we hid as it were our faces from him but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes he went to the cross in humility cruel agony of the cross he suffered for you and I that's what you call submission beloved that's what you call consecrating himself for the cause surrendering submitting giving his whole being for the cause in the book of Proverbs you read my son give me thy heart and let thine eyes observe my ways Proverbs 23 and verse 26 my son give me thine heart oh glory are you willing to give God your heart listen when you give God your heart you don't vacillate can you praise the Lord I say God bless those saints of God and we have some of them that come to this church and I see them when they set the face and they take the Bibles and the songbook and they make up their mind I'm going to serve my God and I don't care what you do I'm going to church to praise the Lord God bless you beloved keep on praising the Lord let nobody stop you from praising the Lord when you come into this house of God beloved praise the Lord because if you stop praising the Lord even the very stones are going to cry out the trees are going to cry out oh beloved let me tell you the sun the moon the stars are praising him you keep praising him Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But that's what happened. When you give your heart to the Lord, your eyes will observe His ways. But remember, it starts first with the heart. Give me thine heart, and I will give you my Father's kingdom. You're going to have to love the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, and with all of your mind. And let me tell you, you're going to have to love the Lord first. 